Hey up lippers, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell to be notified every time I upload. So I wanna share a sermon with you guys from Sunday, um, January 24th, and it really touched my heart and my spirit. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I've read this particular scripture before. Um, I don't think I've ever made a video on it. Maybe it was a different title for the sermon. I'm not for sure, but I really, I really um, like the message and God's words, you guys. Um, once in a while, I haven't done it in a long time. And yeah, I wanna get back to that. So the scripture came from Jeremiah 18, one through six. So I'm gonna just read that. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house and I saw him working at the wheel, but the pot he was shaping from the clay was mirrored in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to him, came to me. He said, can I not do with you, Israel, as the, this potter does, declares the Lord. Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. So, um, of course, like, I like that scripture. That's one of my, maybe my favorite scriptures. Um, I like a lot of scriptures. But I feel like when it's uh, speaking to you from a different standpoint, that's why you can read a scripture and it can mean one thing. And then when you go back, it can mean something else. So I took notes, of course. Um, and the sermon title was Messed Up, But in the Master's Hands. Like, and that's how we are. We're not perfect. We go through trials and tribulations and we uh, fall, we are broken, we, we are hurt. And the best part about it is we don't look like what we've been through, which is, of course, a blessing in itself. We could have gone through the worst thing, but we could still, some of us could still smile and just, just have that um, a light to us. I like this sermon in particular because like I know that I am still kind of broken, but I know that I'm in the master's hands. I know that he's putting the pieces back together and he's shaping me and forming me into what I'm destined to be. And that's why like this scripture spoke to me. No, how, no matter how many times you have been broken, God values your uniqueness. And like sometimes we don't value ourselves. Sometimes we don't look at ourselves as worth anything or worth much, but we are. In God's eyes, we're worth everything. We're so valuable to him. God is able to clean up everything that we have messed up. And sometimes it's like things we've been through and it's not nothing that we've ever done. And sometimes we've made bad choices and bad mistakes, but God is able to fix all of that, which is amazing. God is just so merciful and when we are trying our best to be our best selves, even when we're not, even when we don't know him, even when we don't love ourselves or love him, he's still there walking beside us, which I love. We spend so much time trying to hide that mess that we don't take time for God to fix it. We have to let go and let God. We want to hide everything. Like, you might want to hide it from our friends and our family, but we can't hide it from God. We know God is the only one that is able to fix whatever we're going through. We're messed up, but we're in the potter's hands. We're in God's hands. God will rework and remold your life. Um, you could have been a, a dr on drugs and he changes your situation around. You could be clean for years and he's just working in your life. Like he take the, the least qualified and, and make them into something. Their testimony means so much because someone's testimony can help someone else come out of their mess. We have to put everything in God's hands, which is, it's, I feel like for me at times it's hard to do because we just want to, we want to right now fix. We want to make everything right at that very moment. But 
God is always working. He's always moving and he's able to turn any situation around. God has a purpose and a plan. We might, it's like I always say, it might sound, people don't really agree. Some people agree, some people don't. Everything happens for a reason. And of course, we don't know that reason. But by us going through our trials and tribulations, and that's a part of our testimony, and we can speak to someone that's going through the same exact thing that we've been through, we can help them out of their, their darkness and their situation. So it's like our testimony can inspire someone else to do better and be better and to get better and have faith in God. No matter how bad it looks, don't throw in the towel. And sometimes we think that it's the end for us. Sometimes we're like, you know what, I can't take anymore. I give it, I give up. I don't I don't wanna deal with it. I wanna just walk away from it, whatever the situation is, or I just wanna give up on life in, in itself. And when we feel like giving up, I know when I felt like giving up and I just, you know, Say that prayer or whatever, like, God, please help me. And instantly things start turning around. Sometimes it's not just like that. Sometimes it's, it takes time. But I know that God is able. To God, everything means something. Meaning someone that may not have it all. Someone that that struggles with addiction. Um, any, any type of whatever the case is, God sees you valuable like even if you don't see yourself valuable even if you've done things that you're not proud of God sees you as valuable and he loves you even when you don't love yourself um, God doesn't do things to not necessarily please us but sometimes we want things done our way. And our time we ask God, oh, I tell I want it this way, I want it that way. And that's not in God's plans for it to be that way. Sometimes we have our whole lives planned out before us. And then either our mind changes or something happens to change how things are in our life. And it's not nothing that we planned out. I feel like me personally, when I started, I always go back to me because like, it's me, it's, 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 I'm talking about myself. And when I started this YouTube channel, I didn't know like what I, what I was doing or I, I knew that God put it on my heart to do. So I had to do God's will. And I just like, I always pray like whatever you have for me, God is for me. Um, give me faith and strength to keep on doing this and whatever opportunities come from it, I thank you for it. And that's it. I don't know where this is going to take me. I don't have had a few opportunities that I'm grateful for and more to come, but I just trust God in all of it. Don't worry about what you've been through. God made and shaped you according to his will. People may cast you out and throw you away, but God will make you into something. Meaning people will talk about you. People will say some mean and hurtful things about you. They will they will say that you can't do something, that you will never be anything. And God will take you and elevate you. God will take you and 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 show those same people that you are something. It's not for for them. It's not to glorify you, it's to glorify him. Like God made me into something that nobody could have ever imagined type situations like i know that i never thought that i would be in front of a camera talking and having people that genuinely support me because i i really wasn't that person to be in front of a camera i didn't want to be seen i don't i'm still like kind of shy but god is taking me and, and moving me and in positions to help other people and I'm thankful and I'm grateful for that. Thank we are stronger in broken places. We can use our hurt 
and that, that our hurt will strengthen us and, and build us up. And we learn from our hurt and our pain and our brokenness becomes our strength. And when we don't understand, God will bring us understanding and peace. That's so all we have to do is ask for it. And he will do just that. Pressure we feel may be the remoting process to fit in and fulfill God's purpose. And so many times, like, I felt like giving up on this YouTube channel. I felt like just, like, you know what? I'm not making videos anymore. I, like, sometimes I question opportunities that was presented to me. And I know that what I'm doing is not just for me. It's for for God's purpose and to help other people. And I can't give up and I won't give up. And when, when I look back on my life, I know there's nothing but God that has seen me through this thus far. I know that if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be making this video right now. That I wouldn't be in a better headspace. I wouldn't be more positive. I wouldn't be willing to just speak up and stand out. And sometimes we have to um, come together as one and we have to, of course, help each other. Um, together we can make a difference if we're willing to stay in the master's hands. Meaning, like, despite of anything that's going on, like whatever we're going through, we have to just give it to God. And we have to, when we see someone that we love and care about, even somebody that we don't know, that's going through a hard time, that's struggling with whatever, we have to be willing to help them, to say a kind, a, a kind word, something kind to them, something that's positive, that's something that's uplifting. We have to help people that are struggling because it's not about us. It's about love. It's about God. It's about doing God's will and His fulfilling His purpose in our lives. We have to be willing to help somebody else along the way. And that's all for my notes and all that stuff. Um, I messed up, but I know I'm in the master's hands. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful that He's still working and moving in my life. Um, Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.